In this lecture, we will review the topic of human sexuality, the psychology of sex. The psychology of sex explores our thoughts, our feelings, and behaviors are influenced by sexual drives, attraction, and experiences. It examines the biological, psychological, and social factors that shape our sexuality, including sexual desire, arousal, and behaviors. Additionally, it investigates how societal norms, cultural context, and individual experiences influence our understanding and expression of sexuality. Human interests in sex can be thought of as a built-in imperative. Survival of the species depends on it. And although sexual desire tends to wax and wane over the course of one's life, depending on external demands and relationship satisfaction, it often serves as a passport to bonding, intimacy, pleasure, and even human growth and healing. People engage in sexual activity for many reasons. To feel alive, to maintain a vital aspect of human functioning, to feel desirable or attractive, to achieve closeness, or to please a partner they love. Sex can be one of the most difficult subjects for a couple to discuss. Bodies and interests change over time. And most people will experience some type of sexual problem at some point in their life. The psychology of sex key aspects include biological influences, psychological factors, social and cultural influences, and applications, which we will cover in this course. First, let's review the biological influences. What exactly does that mean? Well, biological influences in psychology refer to the ways that our genes, brain, hormones, and nervous system affect our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. This perspective, also known as the biological approach, emphasizes the physiological underpinnings of our psychological experiences, suggesting that our biology plays a significant role in shaping who we are. We will cover hormones, brain activity, and physiological arousal. Sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone play a crucial role in sexual development and behavior. Brain regions associated with pleasure, motivation, and reward are activated during sexual activity. The body's physical response to sexual stimuli, including increased heart rate, blood flow to genitals, and muscle tension are studied. Next, it's the psychological factors. Psychological factors in psychology encompasses a wide range of elements that include an individual's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. These factors are not tangible, but they play a significant role in shaping our mental processes, emotional responses, and overall well-being. We will discuss sexual desire, arousal and orgasm, sexual dysfunction, sexual orientation, gender identity, and sexual scripts. Yes, I will discuss all of these throughout the course. Sexual desire is the motivation to engage in sexual activity, influenced by individual differences, experiences, and cultural factors. The physical and psychological experience of sexual arousal and climax 
which can be triggered by various stimuli and very greatly dependent on the individual that is under sexual arousal and orgasm. Sexual dysfunction covers the conditions that interfere with a person's ability to experience or enjoy sexual activity. Sexual orientation, a person's enduring pattern of attraction to others, for example, heterosexuality or homosexuality or bisexual. We will cover an array of sexual orientations and also gender identity. What does that mean? A person's internal sense of being male or female or both or neither. Sexual scripts are learned social norms and expectations about how to behave in sexual situations. And the third main component is social and cultural influences on sexuality. Social and cultural influences significantly shape individual thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. These influences encompassing shared beliefs, practices, and values of a group play a significant role in various aspects of psychology, from social interactions to mental health. We will cover cultural norms, socialization, sexualization, and pornography. Under cultural norms, we have societal expectations and beliefs about sexuality, which definitely vary across cultures and time periods. Socialization is the process by which individuals learn about sexuality, either from family, their peers, the media, and other social interaction and institutions. Sexualization is the process by which sexuality is emphasized and potentially objectified in media and culture. And we will touch on the topic of pornography, the impact of pornography on sexual attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors. And fourth, it is application. As we know, psychology is the study of the mind and behavior. It has a wide range of applications in various fields. These applications include clinical practice for diagnosing and treating mental health disorders, counseling services for personal and interpersonal issues, and industrial organizational psychology focusing on improving workplace dynamics. Psychology also plays a crucial role in education, health, the law, and even product design among other areas. We will review sex therapy, sex education, relationship counseling, and addressing sexual health issues. But first, regarding sex therapy, psychologists and therapists use psychological principles to help individuals and couples address sexual problems and improve their sexual well-being. And we've all heard about sex education, right? Psychology informs the design and delivery of sex education programs to promote healthy sexual development and responsible sexual behavior. When it comes to relationship counseling, Understanding the psychology of sex is crucial for couples therapy and improving communication and intimacy. And when addressing sexual health issues, psychological factors play a role in many sexual health problems, such as low sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, and sexual pain. Again, the psychology of sex explores how 
Our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are influenced by sexual drives, attraction, and experiences. It examines the biological, psychological, and social factors that shape our sexuality, including sexual desire, arousal, and behaviors. Additionally, it investigates our societal norms, cultural contexts, and individual experiences influence our understanding and expression of sexuality. Please be advised, this is an educational, academically sound psychology course by Dr. Bev Knox for adult student learners. Lecture content include discussions and representations of human sexuality, theoretical perspectives on sexuality, sex research, sexual anatomy, sex hormones, sexual arousal, attraction and love theories, gender and sexuality, sexual orientation, variations in sexual behavior, sexual coercion, sex for sale, sexual disorders, and sex therapy, ethics and religion on sexuality, and sex laws. Before beginning the course, please be mindful of your capacity to witness and respond to videos, books, and images of this content material.